powerful, man. Powerful, powerful music right there from a young superstar yeah. who's coming through. Can we get some noise right here for Quando Rondo? What the hell is Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We're, fa we're fans out here, bro. What's going on, big bro? It's good to see you, man. Congratulations. This is a beautiful moment. Fans brought this to life. You were always going to give it to us. But it must have been nice to know that it was already connecting and resonating and people felt what you felt. Yes, sir. I want to hear a little bit about how, where the song came from, man. Like, what was the starting point for you? Uh, first of all, I recorded that house in a... I recorded that house in my... That song in my auntie house. It wasn't like no real recording studio. Oh, I love that. I love that, though. That's even more special in a way, being able to to bring the creative process into an environment that helped raise you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did that in the hood. It's amazing, man. When you're making music, does anything else matter? Can you forget the world around you when you're in the creative process and it's just you? When and I was it, my eyes be closed. I be painting pictures, picture painting. Was it always like that even as a young kid? Would you, did you let your imagination find music? Is that what, what really took you somewhere else? Uh, yes, sir. You can say that. You can say that. I just, I, no, nah, I said it's a little bit different because when I got, the older I got, the more I got into music, it's like, it's my life now. So everything music to me, I make everything something out of music, like no matter what's going on. I could be in, a, in traffic and see a car pass and be a certain color and think about some music jazz. You feel me? Like everything is music to me. Everything. <laughs> I do, man. It's my obsession. It has been my whole <laughs> life. You got something in common. I don't really understand. Like people often say to me, <laughs> what else are you into? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> For real, for I, don't, real. I don't really know what to say to them at that point. I'm a pretty monochromatic human on that level. Eddie from the you. plug, Nick from the plug, you're here. You guys know yeah. Rondo Rondo. I mean, you've been supporting. Um, I got two guys on the team that do an incredible show attached to a really important breaking hip hop playlist. Um, I, you know, we've got to open this up to the team to speak to Quando about today's, you know, cover of New Music Daily, Nick. Yeah, Quando, what's up, man? Congratulations on the what's new up? single. Hopefully, hopefully, there's a whole body of work coming, but I'm kind of curious, bro. Like, how do you go from recording in your auntie house to taking that into the studio? Is it a different vibe? Is it a different feel? There's got to be there's got to be a different connection with the music that way, depending on who around you and what environment you're in. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I can record anywhere, man. Like, <laughs> where the microphone at? I can record. Like at this point, like it's my life. It's what I gotta do. Like. If I don't record a song, I feel sick. Mm. I have to record like mm. daily basis. Like I, I gotta knock me some songs out. Like mm. it's like an addiction at this point. Yeah. It's like a drug. I love how Nick went. You know. Nick, Nick, Nick was being very generous there when he said, you know, hopefully there's a body of work coming out. But anyway, and he moved on. I, I'm not so I'm not so polite, bro. I got to know what's up with the and with the next album, with the next project, man. When do we get in? When do we get in the next installment from you in full? Um, I actually. If you want me to be honest, I got a couple of albums. in the tongue. Ooh. I can drop a tape every two weeks if I go. What's holding, you, what's holding you back? I got I got two tapes coming on. I got one with Young Boy coming. Thirty eight mm. sixty. We got a real album on the way, and um, amazing. I got one called Auntie Frida's House. I'm gonna name it Auntie Frida's House because I record a lot of music at my auntie house recently in the kitchen. <laughs> it's just what I prefer to do. You know, I could I could go anywhere and record, but. I always have a different vibe and the vibe that I've been feeling for the past couple of months was in the trenches mm -hmm. recording. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm I'm gonna finish touching up my album in a real recording studio though. Probably, and probably in about two weeks, I'm gonna go to a real studio and I'm gonna really knock out real, real pain, real, real pain songs mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Certain stuff got to be done like in the real studio, like in the Atlantic studio and stuff. Mm -hmm. Certain stuff 
done in the churches. That's just like certain videos could be like running gun cameramen, and certain videos have to be like red eye cameras. You know, you, you know, know about- you know when you meet an artist for the first time. We never met, you know, and so we're doing it virtually still. But you know when you meet an artist for the first time, you realize like they're they're absolutely doing it for all the right reasons. Like everything you've mentioned, bro, the touchstones about needing to make music, feeling something inside if you don't, having to find a place to release the pain, wanting to find a space that makes things sound a certain way, but also wanting to do it in your auntie's house where you feel you can be as honest as you can be. That's real artist talk, bro. So it's really good to connect with you for the first time. Thanks to Quando Ron. A round of applause for our guests. Come and start music right here, man. Yes, sir. Good looking out, man. Great to meet you. Thanks for this record, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you.